Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tatu D. I make uh, videos on motherhood and lifestyle and everything in between. Today, I'm being joined by my little baby boy who is finally six months old. Yay! We are a big boy! Yes, he's finally six months old. I can't believe I've been a mom for six months. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, yeah, so in this video, I'm just going to be doing like a six months baby update. Just what he's been doing, how he's been feeling, how he's growing, what milestones he's reached, and all that fun stuff. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Hopefully he behaves long enough for me to get through this video. Hi. All right, first and foremost, he weighs about um, 8.375 kg, actually exactly 8.375 kg. We just weighed him today. We're actually from the doctor a couple of hours ago. And yeah, man, he hadn't been to the doctor to get weighed for about two months because of the COVID-19 thing. So we didn't want to just expose him for no reason. He didn't have to do any vaccines or anything like that. So we just didn't go because we called um, the midwife and she just advised us not to bring him just to up until this whole thing is figured out. But we chose to take him to the doctor today because he had a little bit of eczema and his skin was really dry and he was scratching a lot. So we just wanted um, the doctor to take a look at it just to make sure that it's really nothing for us to worry about she did prescribe us a cream to help with it this is the cream that she prescribed so we're hoping that it helps um, we have used it before when he was younger and it helped so we hope that it does help as well during this time as far as the lotion that we use or the cream that we use we use the eucerin um, cream and we also use the uh, the E45 cream. Um, we're using them interchangeably together and we just want to see how his skin just kind of behaves um, with both products and we kind of see which one we want to stick to. We have just started using both of them so we, I will do a different, I will give you an update on how his skin is doing in his seven months update. As far as sleeping, he is a good sleeper during the day. He naps well. He um, takes long naps and he's rested during the day. He does have one nap when it's, where it's shorter, where it's between 30 minutes to 45 minutes, um, but that's fine. We don't really fuss about that nap because we don't want him to, to sleep um, most of the day anyway. Um, the problem is at night. At night, he is... Ooh, a difficult one um so he sleeps around a six but he sleeps between 6 30 and 7 p.m and usually he will sleep a good stretch between 7 to like um say 12 or 1 a.m and right after that he will wake up either every two hours or every hour depending on what mood he's in up until he wakes up for the day and that is so annoying guys we are so tired. We are not rested. Like, it's it's so annoying. But in the past two days, I have started um, trying to sleep train him. So far, so good. He's not waking up as often, um, but he is still waking up at night. I want to also str try to start um, cutting off that night feed because he is old enough now to go a good stretch um, during the night without a drink, without having uh, milk. So I want to cut that out so that he can sleep through the night. Um, so the method that we are using to sleep train him is the Feber method. I will talk a little bit more about sleep training and the Feber method in a different video when I update you guys on how he's doing um, in terms of his sleep. So if you're interested in that, do leave a comment in um, do do leave a comment below, and I'll definitely do a video on that. Um, another thing that he's doing is that he is sitting independently. He is. He's actually been sitting since he was four months old. Um, he was oh, he was a bit wobbly, of course, at four months. I think about four, about, about four and a half months. Um, then he was sitting independently with no support, and he was doing pretty well with that. Um, yeah, so he enjoys sitting up now. Um, when we try to put him like in a car seat or when it, we put him in, in his rocker, he doesn't like it anymore. He just 
is always just fighting to be sitting up all the time so he just really enjoys sitting up a lot so something that he is not doing is rolling over i know that at six months he should be able to roll over to his front um and also roll over to his back but he's not quite doing that um but i think that's because he started sitting up um really early so he has he started when he started sitting up what are you doing so when he started sitting up, he started to spend a little less time um, lying down. So he didn't get a lot of practice with the rolling over and that and all that um, and all that stuff. Sorry, where is it? Where's your toy? Wait. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Don't cry, Papa. Okay. Yeah. So he didn't get a lot of practice with uh, rolling over. So it's nothing really for me. It's nothing really that excuse me it's nothing really that i am worried about I, I think he would figure it out eventually he does roll over here and there but he doesn't quite do it like most babies his age are doing it um he is still teething he has nothing to show for it and i feel like he's been teething for ever like he's been teething ever since he was like uh, three months old where he's drooling and all that fun stuff and um there is literally nothing to show for it by now i thought he would have like a tooth or two but he doesn't have any he doesn't even have like bumps in his mouth to show that it's actually coming out anytime soon so yeah he's still teething he's still very drooly and uh, all day long his clothes are always so wet around the neck area because he's always drooling um he hates bits so that's why we can't put bits on him he hates them so much because every time we put one on him he pulls it out even when he's eating he fights to take it off of him and all that stuff so we just do without the, without the bib anyway so we're just like okay you know whatever you don't want the bib so mess your clothes so yeah so he's not quite there yet with the teething but he is are you okay ah 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 this boy He is still exclusively breastfeeding. I have tried to give him formula, but oh my gosh, this guy hates it. He even starts to cry when you force a feed him formula. He hates it so much. I tried to introduce formula to him, so just so that I am, I know that when I stop giving him breast milk, he will take formula because I don't plan on breastfeeding him all the way up to um, the point he's a year or three years or whatever. My plan was for him to stop breastfeeding when he turns six months. But then with the lockdown and everything, I just didn't see why I need to stop him if he likes it anyway. So yeah, maybe I'll stop him at seven or eight months, um, depending on like how he does in terms of introducing formula. Um, I have read that if you want to introduce formula or what I should do is that I should introduce it slowly while I start by mixing it with breast milk where I put more breast milk and a little bit of formula and then just keep reducing the breast milk the percentage of the breast milk with um, as time goes by and then ultimately just give him formula and then he'll be used to the taste by then and he'll not have such a big problem with it so when I do start for sure that I am making him to get off of breast milk, then definitely I will start giving it to him like that. I will start introducing it to him like that. Another exciting thing is that we have introduced solids. We actually introduced solids when he was about five and a half, five and a half months. Our pediatrician actually advised that we start um, the solids at six months, but I was just so eager. And also he was just starting to really be interested in food when we eat and all that stuff and i was just like ah let me just start him and he was ready he was showing signs of being ready for formula um being ready for food and stuff like that so i was like you know what what's the harm um and we did start and he is doing pretty well with them he is on purees right now and he also is doing a little bit of some baby led weaning um i will talk a bit more about for uh, about introducing solids to your baby in a different video where i talk a little bit on how we introduce formula i mean why do i keep on saying formula um where i talk a little bit on why we how we introduce solids and which solids we introduce and a little bit on how we prepare his food and all that fun stuff why do you keep choking what are you eating here's your banana take Take your banana. Take your banana, baby. Take your banana, baby. Take your banana, baby.
yeah so i will do a different video on everything in terms of how to introduce solids and what we are introduced what we introduce and what we are avoiding and all of that because i had a whole conversation with my pediatrician about introducing solids today so i have a little bit of information but of course if you are also trying to introduce solids to your baby it's very advised that you do have a conversation with your pediatrician just so that you know you know what to do and how to do it and all that fun stuff uh, another thing that we introduced is water he is drinking water now he seems to enjoy it he's drinking a lot of water um, we have we are giving him water in a sippy cup but not in the normal baby bottle that he takes milk from He can drink from it when there is a lot of water in it where he doesn't have to tilt it back a lot, but um, Usually he just causes a whole mess and he has all water all over his clothes After we give him the sippy cup to feed himself So we try to give him a little we try to feed him a little bit of water Just so that we know that he is taking some water before we just give him the cup to play with and to kind of learn how to How to feed himself. So yeah, he is laughing a lot now. He really enjoys peekaboo he is laughing he has so much personality and he is he's actually more expressive when he's happy he is laughing he is chatty Um, but when he is not happy we also know that he cries quite a bit he whines and he's fussy and all that stuff so he is showing so much personality i remember once before i don't know in a different video i did say he was a good baby and sometimes we forget that there's a baby in the house now you know for sure there's a baby in the house because from morning all the way up to the time he goes to bed he is yelling either crying or laughing or yelling or babbling and talking and all that stuff so he has so much personality now um so you can't miss him anymore you know okay it's my turn Okay, your turn now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to play anymore. You don't want to play the game. Okay, just because it's my turn. It's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> he is um, started to recognize faces as well. He knows all the faces of obviously all of us here. Myself, um, her, his auntie, his dad, and his other auntie. So they, 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 he knows those familiar faces. Um, he does start to, you know, become a little weird or fearful when he is, he is being, he is with what? <laughs> What? Why are you choking? The problem is that you like food too much when you like food too much. There are signs of fe being fearful when he is with like strangers or he's in like a different uh, um, situation or a different setting. But he just become a bit quiet and reserved and um, a bit fussy. Um, so yeah, he is now familiar with faces and who are people that he lives with and who are people that are strangers and all that fun stuff. So that's that for the six months a baby update. That is what um, little boy over here has been up to um, I love these type of videos. I watch them all the time But not in time in term in the terms of like comparing babies or whatever I just like to see what other babies are up to um, around um, different times or different stages. So yeah, man I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing his little cute face Say bye everybody. Thank you for subscribing to mommy's channel. See that.
yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video um stick around for another one i've decided that i'm going to be doing uploads on tuesdays and thursdays so do set your notification bell so that you know when i have a new video up um if you haven't subscribed do subscribe right now i'll give you a second just to do it let's give them a second okay don't you banana all right i think you have subscribed now See you in the next video. Bye. Say bye bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mar. Hey. Hey, Papa. Good morning. Or look, I'm standing up. Or when I came, I did now. Morning. Good morning, Christos. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hey. Mm -hmm.